Um, hey guys, it's me, um, Justin Duffy, and today I found out the reason why, um, why the push bar wouldn't work before I found out that spring hack, why it doesn't work, because what, how it originally worked before I straight up broke the push bar, um, was, so you see right here, there used to be, like, two little things attached to it, like this springy thing, um, and I guess they came out or fell out, or maybe they just, like, broke, so basically, um, uh, when it, when it would just be sitting closed, that would just be on the back of the push bar. Um, <clears throat> it would be like right here. Like that. And, um, it wouldn't work when you opened it. Because it wouldn't be, it, it didn't have anything to push against. But now, uh, this spring hack, of course, uh, I, I got it to work. Um. Um, so yeah. Um, but I'm glad I found out. Oh, and by the way, I took, um, the back, that blue light switch box thing off. Um, because, well, I was just getting a little tired of it. It was just, I just didn't want it on there anymore. Um, and yes, I, um, am eating right now. And I also got my camcorder right there. It's on record right now. I'm just messing everything up. Hold on. Um, shit about that. Uh, so, anyways, back to the main thing. Um, so here's the pull station. Sorry about the terrible lighting situations. I'm trying to fix that. There we go. I guess that's good. Um, let's see. Uh, uh, here's the back. There's the wires and stuff. Um, and also, as you can see, this has, like, rusted or something. Or it's been on the wall for a long time. Uh, because you see that right there? That's, like, part of the wall that just, like, kind of stuck to it or something. It's just, like, a little rough it's dust or something. Um, which is, like, hard to get off. It's some kind of, um, it's just, like, really rough. It's, um... So, uh, yeah, but I'm, but I'm glad I found that push bar hack, uh, to do. Now I can, like, convert it. Um, so now if I take the push bar out, it won't be out forever. I can, like, put it back in. Um, so here you see... It's dual action. Hold on. Let me reset it. There we go. Um. Oh, and also, as usual, I, uh, I have. I still don't have a key for it yet, so I have to, like, lift the lock up. To, you gotta do that. Uh oh. What happened? Hold on. Oh, there we go. Um. So now it's dual action. 
Okay, I'm gonna pull it. Um, I'm gonna pull it two ways. I'm gonna pull it dual action versus single action. Um, here's dual action. Okay, basically, reset it. T bar flies back up. Um, and here is single action. Basically, you just pull down. It's very simple. The only difference is basically, um, here's a push bar and the spring. I took that out. As you can see, um, here's the spring. And also, um... I'm sorry the lettering is faded. I did not do that on purpose. It's because, um, I like every time I pull it, sometimes I like accidentally touch this paint or something and it just like slowly rubs off over time. Well, I mean, it's still kind of on there, but most of it's faded off. As for this one, um, that goes for the push bar too. You can kind of still see uh, part of that and a little bit of that. And the H, the H is just completely faded. It's it's just it blended in with the color of the push bar. Um, but uh, so. That's basically it for my convertible, uh, uh, so for the reason why, um, how that works, how that works, um, before I completely broke it. And for those of you who uh, are, are very uh, familiar with fire alarms. Uh, for um, all of you other fire alarm nerds, um, <sighs> I'm sorry I broke it. I, I um, That's when I didn't know a, a lot about fire alarms. I didn't know it would break. Because... Um, because uh, I, I tried to, like, I couldn't open it, uh, and I was tired of, as you could see in my, in, in uh, the video, in the first video I did with this pull station, back when I could, didn't have a key, I had to, like, use a screwdriver and pry it in the back. You know what I mean. Um, but... Yeah, I could still push it, but it was like just a little um it did it wasn't that springy. Um and I'm glad and with also uh with this spring hack, you can adjust how springy it is. If you want it to be super springy, you can just like screw it in uh a, a, um a lot and if you want to um, uh, dial it back a little bit. If you want to adjust it to where it is a little less springy, you can just put it back a little. And if you want to take it completely out, you can just, like, well, unscrew it. Unscrew the spring. Um, but that's basically it for this video. Uh, I hope you enjoyed, like, and subscribe, and turn on the notification bell. Sorry about that. Bye.